Welcome back to New Day Northwest. We all know that living through a pandemic has been really tough to, to say the least. It's been really tough on small businesses as well. And fortunately, business leaders in our area and across the country are stepping up to help. Here to tell us more about Comcast Rise is Dave Mandipat from Comcast and small business owner Margie Haywood. Both of you, welcome to New Day. Thank you for having us. It is good to see you again. It's great to see you too. So the pandemic, as we had mentioned, I mean, it, tough is, I feel like, such an understatement because it just kind of ripped our hearts out in so many ways. But Comcast, they wanted to help, created Comcast Rise. Will you tell us about it? Absolutely. So think about, to your point, think about how many times you drive down the street and you see a business you used to go to that's shuttered, mm -hmm. right? It, it's awful for all of us. Yeah. So what Comcast recognizes is we need to support these businesses yeah. and help them stay afloat and thrive during these times. So what we're feeling really fortunate and lucky to give away $110,000 grants to women and minority owned businesses here in King and Pierce counties. Wow, this makes me so proud I have Xfinity. Um, <laughs> I have to say, so last November, 100 small businesses in King and Pierce counties were awarded $10,000 in grants through Comcast Rise, a total contribution of one million dollars, Dave, that's impressive. It makes me really proud to work for Comcast. And the big surprise, Amity, was in the summer, we heard that we get to do it again. So here we are on the verge of giving away $2 million, actually more than $2 million, to businesses here in our community. It's amazing. Now, Margie, you're the owner of Work and Play Lounge which is awesome. I want you to tell me all about that, but tell us what it's been like as a small business owner during the pandemic. Yeah, I, you summed it up a little bit, just kind of walking by and seeing so many shuttered. And um, I'm actually the first black woman owned co-working space in the state um, that is for profit. And so with that, so many people in the co-working industry just didn't survive. Yeah. And then you talk about all the other industries that have been shuttered. Um, and then to find out so many were minority owned, and women-owned businesses that just didn't make it to the next round. I think it's just been a, a journey of resilience and perseverance and trying to um, make and figure it out. It's just been devastating. As a, a small business owner, so I mean, you're on your own, you're mm -hmm. working so hard. What did it mean to have Comcast step in to help you? How did it help? And, and what do you suggest for others who may be like, oh, wait, this sounds good yeah. for me? Yeah, it came at the perfect time, just at a verge of literally closing our doors. It came at the right time, direct deposited into my business bank account. Wow. I couldn't have asked for anything better. It was literally just the gap field that was needed just to get us over the hump and to still be standing here almost a year later um, after getting that grant. So it's meant joy, it's been, meant confidence. It actually gave me uh, validation and let me know that my business is seen and that um, small businesses and black owned businesses do matter. And that was a big thing for me. I had just not felt seen yeah. and heard and supported because it was the first institution that I ever received money for from. It's amazing yeah. that a hundred businesses too. One hundred. One hundred businesses. Yeah. One hundred businesses. Yeah. So many lives saved. Yeah. And it's kind of like a, a domino effect because it's the families, it's Absolutely. everything. Because yeah. I know what it's like to have one person who's struggling and then how much that helps the family. I mean, do you understand how many smiles you brought and oh, happiness? Yeah. 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 All right. So how do people apply? What do they need to know to get going? Well, the application window is open now. It's okay. at ComcastRise.com. All right. The window is open through through October 16th, which is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, it varies. Now, now, Margie spent about two hours putting her application together. I think it's 60 to 120 minutes is probably accurate, okay. but that's a great investment. So ComcastRise.com, you have until October 16th. That's nothing though, really, when it comes oh. to this. And, and it's yeah. hard work and business owners know all about hard work, right? And if I can just add, I would just encourage people, just do it, just try. Um, be your authentic self, tell your story. Don't worry about trying to put anything fancy together. Just tell your story on paper and just know that folks at Comcast are really listening. I love that. Lord, yeah. Dave, thank you so thank much you. for coming here and brightening yes. our day with this and yes. for everything you're doing for this community. Yeah. It means so much. Yeah, All right. You. Remember, eligible businesses have until Sunday, October 16th to apply to this awesome program. To learn more about Comcast Rise, just visit the website right there on your screen. Super easy peasy right there for you. All right, well, a breakfast can be more than just nutritious, and an upcoming leadership breakfast is all about nurturing the mind. We're going to tell you about when and how you can break bread with some inspiring women while encouraging your own reflection and growth when we come back. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Comcast. 